Upon starting the CMS Pro and CMS Lite software, you will see this login window. Uh, go ahead and type in the default username and password. Admin in capital letters and password is 1234. Click login and we see this message. It says, do you want to connect to the devices now? Uh, we don't have any devices, so go ahead and click no. On the main CMS or the CMS Lite software, you will see a bar at the very top that shows live, search, emap, status, and system. What these buttons will do is each button will change the, uh, the toolbar at the very top. And uh, you got to remember about the second uh, buttons at the very bottom, bottom left corner. You're going to see live, emap, status, and device. Now what these buttons will do is change the, the device trees, live screen trees, emap trees, and the status tree on the left side. We have to now add the DVR systems by clicking on system on the very top bar and we will click register device. You are going to get a notif notification regarding the CMS Pro or CMS Lite uh, that it must connect to the admin group account on the DVR system. Now it is very important you use the uh, whatever user that you use has the admin rights. Any user or manager groups will not able to connect to the CMS software. Click OK on the notification and let's try adding the premium series which is at the m under model you will see that there's a PM16C that's the premium model and obviously we're at company the DVR type 1 for the P PM series and group uh, you hit the add button since we don't have any group let's create one that says demo click add and go ahead and close the window and you're going to notice the group has demo now under the device name, uh, we could put in anything you want for the name. I'm going to put in premium underscore 16. Notice I used the underscore instead of a uh, space. Uh, the CMS software does not allow any space to be used. Uh, so just remember that you have to use the underscore instead of a space to put in spaces. IP address, we have a local IP 10.0.1 dot 216 for our local premium s system and the port number is the default 6400 user ID admin cap capital letters admin and password is 1234 confirm password is 1234 remember to put a checkbox under connect so that uh, the CMS software knows that it should be connecting to that particular system Let's click add and you will see the added system on the very top. Now let's try adding the pro series. Uh, you're going to notice that the model does not show any pro series. Now that's when we have to change the DVR type to type 2 and select PR8. That's our pro series that we have as our demo system. Device name, I'm going to name it pro and let's change the underscore 8. And the IP address, we have this set up on our public IP, which is 69.199.57.140. And the port number it's us using is, uh, we actually have to input the web port address for the Pro Series. Uh, in fact, for any DVR Type 2 systems, which, I which are the recent um, recently released new systems, they all use web port to connect to the system. User ID and the password um, stays the same, which is admin and 1234. And we have a checkbox already um, checked for connect. Let's go ahead and click add. And we have premium and pro series. Go ahead and close the device register screen now. And after adding the system, uh, you could always go back into device uh, register by um, clicking on the device register again. Again, you're going to be notified of this not, um, notice. Just go ahead and click OK. And let's close it back again. And let's try connecting to the system now. Click on the connect button at the very top. And it will show a status. 
saying that it's c it connected to each system. You could go ahead and close, or you could wait for it to close. Um, okay, now we it closed out, and we are back into the CMS Pro or CMS Lite. Now uh, we have a live screen, but obviously we don't have anything in there right now. Um, you're gonna notice that the device uh, window it has uh, device button has been disabled. You gotta you anytime you edit the system or system information, we have to disconnect from from the CMS. Let's click OK, and in order to see the systems, we have to go use the bottom uh, the buttons at the at to change the trees on the left side click on device and you're gonna notice that there's a device now hit the plus sign and there's a demo group hit the plus sign again and you're gonna see the premium and the pro series uh, we don't have any screen screens set up yet so there is no screen checker board uh, we're gonna have to click on the live screen on the very top to add a new screen and also the live at the very bottom to see the screen trees we don't have any at the moment, so let's click on new screen. I'm gonna type it demo underscore screen, and then I'm going to name another group called demo. Click on add and close. Now we have a demo screen name and a group called demo. Go ahead and click save now, and we have a live screen up now. Um, you could ch you could choose you could add different types of screen types and actually uh, set different settings for them, but uh, for now we have one. And then I'm gonna change to the device at the bottom left. And in order to connect each camera, what we're gonna have to do is just simply drag and drop each camera. Now, dragging and dropping each camera might take a long time, so you could actually drag and drop the whole camera set into the first box. In fact, you could drag it into any box and it will populate each box depending on where you placed it. Uh, we want it on the first box and we have seven cameras uh, connected at the moment and we're going to click on the Pro Series and then drag the whole camera set into the 17 and on. We have a DVD video running on the very bottom and we have a uh, the cameras uh, in our demo demo unit. You could actually drag each camera into different boxes to have them organized a lot better. And we could use the layout option here on the live uh, live toolbar to change into different types of screen. Now we'll discuss about the actual features of the DVR, um, how to use the CMS Pro on the on our next video.